Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses his lesson this evening, gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, I'm going to have a quick discussion that was kind of inspired by the Spirit and by two dear brothers, brothers Big Levi and brother Abdul Asir. I want to talk about important areas in the world and how <clears throat> there are very powerful spirits that guard these particular areas. I think certain areas that we've all been drawn to over the course of our lifetime. I've always had a special, you know, um, place in my heart for like Egypt and the pyramids, Mexico, Chichen Itza, Tenochtitlan, you know, places like down in Guatemala, like in our spirits, we've been drawn to these places. And we have to understand that there are powerful entities that are in many of these places. And something that Brother um, Abdullah said, talking about how some of these entities have not been spoken to, really, you know, hit me. Because if you've read the, like, something like the Testament of Solomon, and you understand that in the Testament of Solomon, Solomon was given a ring of power. And this ring gave him, gave Solomon the power to control all of these demons and these spirits. And, in, and if you've read the story, it's in the uh, Old Testament Pseudepigrapha. Testament of Solomon, it's an awesome story. But they were talking about how there was a very powerful spirit that was in the Nile where the... Um, the Egyptian soldiers that were chasing Moses and the Hebrews where they were killed. And that in that particular place, there was a very uh, strong spirit there. You know, and I believe, that, my opinion, there are places like this worldwide. And you got many of these spirits that are awake, that are waiting some special people from our nation to show up and to talk to them. See, I was outside grounding, you know, taking off my shoes, connecting with the earthly mother, standing in the grass. And this concept came to me. And the thing was, was that the movie of Aquaman and this scene right here where Aquaman was fighting with the Karakin. I hope I pronounced the name of the monster correct, correctly. Um, shows how this concept is known by the other nations. See, in this land, in this area where the trident was being, um, was actually being kept, there was this very powerful spirit, or as this in the movie, it was a monster, Okay. But we understand that there's also spirits in these certain areas. And it starts to make sense as to why we're not allowed to go into certain places. We're not allowed to go into uh, the Grand Canyon. We're not allowed to go into these pyramids. Not allowed to go into the pyramids in Mexico, in Central America, in South America. We're not allowed to go into the pyramids in Egypt. I'm sure in Europe and in many other places. Because if you look at the story... If you look at the movie, it's telling you. Remember when Aquaman went down into that hole and 
he saw those like dead bodies of the previous people who tried to come and take the uh, trident, how they were just destroyed by the Karakin. And when the Karakin saw Aquaman, she's like, you know, I haven't seen anyone as unworthy as you. Calling him like a half breed. And that, you know, pretty much saying that other people were more worthy, you know, of, of the uh, trident. But he was unworthy. And they started to battle. And Aquaman's getting absolutely destroyed. And right when the Karakin is about to destroy Aquaman, what does he do? He communicates with the monster. And all of a sudden, with that communication, the Karakin allowed Aquaman to say to go ahead and try to take the trident for himself. So that was a prime example of the fact that there's these powerful spirits in these certain places and that they have not been spoken to. So they were just, you know, the, the Karakin was just destroying anyone that came in. So on the outside, these other people that tried to go into these areas appeared worthy physically. They had all, they came from right places. Physically, they looked a certain way. They, they played the part. They looked stately. They looked kingly. They looked powerful. But spiritually, they were dead. That's why they got destroyed. But with Aquaman, on the outside appearance, he looked as if he was unworthy. He looked as if he did not deserve the opportunity to even try to touch the trident. But the Karakin realized that spiritually, this one is different from all the rest. This one can communicate with me. And like the monster said, no one has communicated with me since the king did before. So it took a special person to be able to communicate with this, with this strong, powerful entity in this area. So in the movies, they're letting you know that they understand that in these areas, there are these powerful forces and that only a select few will be able to actually go in and activate the powers that are present. There are only a few that will be able to tame the spirits that are here. They know this is not like the universalism, just anyone can show up, anyone can walk into these areas, and anyone can uh, communicate with the spirits. So I, I thought, like I said, the most I put that on my heart, I wanted to share that this evening. Just like I said, they put these things in these movies. And you, you know, and when the spirit says it's time, the spirit releases you and gives you the correct context to be able to understand why they keep us out of these areas. You know, I said they, they understand that you've got to come from a particular bloodline. And then within that bloodline, not everyone from that bloodline can activate, you know, these these powers these angels, these spirits. So it has to be a specific bloodline and it has to be a specific person from that bloodline. And I'm sure there's many places where they have these, uh, they, they build their churches. They build their, you know, places of worship. They build their, you know, military bases, churches, uh, government buildings, whatever it is to say, oh, you can't come here. You can't go into these places because this is a this place is a sacred to us. Down in Mexico, where the largest pyramid is in Cholula, there's a huge pyramid there. And what did the uh, Catholics do? They went and built a church on top of the hill, on top of the pyramid. So then all the excavation was halted because they said, "Oh, well, these lands are sacred." to the Catholic Church. So now all of a sudden, no one can go into this pyramid. These are the ways, these are the tactics that they use 
to keep the true children out of these areas, to keep the children out of these areas and be able to activate the powers that are present. They keep us out so we can't activate the ley lines. Maybe that's part of the whole gentrification. You know, there's certain areas that they've been in control of all this time. And the ley lines, you know, they got power from them. Maybe the ley lines switched once we started to uh, finish up our 400 years of captivity. And now all of a sudden, certain areas that were not desirable to the other nations are now being empowered once again. And now they're trying to go in and take those those uh, places over as well. That's a possibility also. You like said, there's a whole lot of things that are going on in the spirit world that we are now able to tap into. We're able to communicate with the Most High even more. We're able to communicate with our angels even more. We're able to make these, uh, these connections with the spirit we're, we're getting, starting to get more in tune with how to, you know, access information, understanding from the earthly mother, from the angels, from the father, from our spiritual team, from the, you know, we got spirits around us that are here to help us that we have been encouraged to not talk to because they're evil. Don't do this. Don't do that because that's evil. Don't look into this. Don't look into that because it's evil. And then when you also add, when you ask that question, well, can you prove it? No. But if you do it, you're going to go to hell. Back to status quo and fear tactics. But now that many people are starting to, you know, see through the veil and see their tactics, they're starting to realize that they can make these connections. They can make this connection with our spirits, our spiritual teams as well. And we can get downloads and get information and get confirmation. Like I said, I just was outside for a few minutes. He said, making that connection, you know, with the earthly mother, my grounding. And all of a sudden, she just started downloading this information to me. Brought that part about Aquaman out and the Karakin and the unworthy trying to go into these areas and them being slaughtered, slaughtered. And then how the seemingly unworthy were able to go in and gain access to these important artifacts. All of a sudden, when uh, Aquaman got that trident, he had control of all the animals of the ocean. All of a sudden, he was empowered, not because he chose to be, but because he was chosen to be. And that's how this works. When the Most High chooses who he's going to elevate, the Most High is the one that's going to choose who's the one going to be able to take hold of this trident who's going to be able to come into these certain areas and take hold of these powerful beings. And the other nations know that, so that's why they work tirelessly to keep us out of these areas. But we understand that that's why the Most High is removing their power. Just like in Joel too. He's the one that's going to be removing these armies off of the lands. He's removing their control over these lands. And eventually, we will be able to go into these sacred areas once again. And we will be able to activate the powers that are waiting for our people to come back home. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the Earthly Mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.